What's going on guys and welcome to another weekly ramble video and yes based on the title you probably have guessed this is going to be the last weekly ramble video that we do. Uh, that doesn't mean that we're going to do away with this format. Uh, we actually have some plans to keep it going but we're going to do things in a little bit of a different way and not necessarily schedule a weekly uh, kind of update video instead. I think the plan moving forward is just to kind of pick something uh, if there's some news item or something like that that we want to talk about. Uh, if it's definitely time constraint uh, wise something that needs to get up very very quickly we're gonna do our best to actually get a video up on that separately so that'll kind of be its own thing as it comes along we won't schedule it so there's more on that in just a little bit because we've got a lot of info uh, changing right now but uh, first thing I just want to mention, uh, this the WPN uh, uh, program that Wizards has going on, uh, the Wizards Play Network, is actually updated. They've done a whole revamp of the entire system. There are no longer levels. There's WPN and then there's WPN Premium. Very, very few stores are qualified for the premium stuff right now. Uh, I, I'm, I have the or I've read the article, but I don't know right offhand. It was some very, very low percentage. I believe it was something like five percent. Uh, very, very little. So, uh, but there are some benefits to doing that. Uh, there are also a lot of benefits now going on that. Uh, basically the idea is they wanted to be able to scale the benefits that you get for being in that WPN uh, system and be able to scale that to however many players that you've actually got coming into your store. So uh, there's a few things there that I'd like to mention, but I think we're going to be talking about them in the next podcast episode, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Overall, though, it does seem like a really, really good update. Uh, I'm actually really excited about it. I hope that this is a buff for local game stores. Also, if you ever hear a little collar in the background, there's a dog in here. Sorry about that, uh, but uh, that's that's kind of the big news this week. Uh, really, really happy about that, honestly. Hopefully that sticks around and is actually well received uh, and actually does give local game stores a boost. Uh, it kind of has been a while since Wizards has done a lot to boost the local game store scene. Uh, to be honest, unfortunately, they've just they've been doing a lot of things with other like online stores, things like that, which isn't necessarily bad, but it does take away from uh, our local game stores and obviously that's not what we want so finally finally they are giving some benefits to the local game stores hopefully uh, your store will benefit from this there are new promos and promo packs I believe that they've got going on uh, that are really really good so we'll see what happens out of that over the next few weeks of course and again we'll talk about it more in the podcast episode so uh, now, as far as changes for It Resolves, there are actually quite a few of them, uh, and I'm excited about some of them and a little nervous about some, but we're going to do the best we can. First of all, you'll notice the whole set is a little bit different. Uh, I am kind of in the process of moving. Uh, I've been dating someone for a while. We're moving in together. Very excited about it. But uh, that is basically, I mean, we're in the new setup. So this is how it's going to look. Uh, I don't know exactly behind me how things are going to go. We've got like here off screen, just off screen. There's a bunch of magic product. Maybe we'll incorporate that somehow just to make things look a little better. But that's kind of the goal. Uh, as far as this is concerned. So we'll see what happens, but uh, very, very excited about that. Um, okay, now for actual schedule changes, because there are a few. Uh, podcast, let's start there. Uh, we're still continuing the podcast, but I think we're going to cut it back to every other week. Uh, that basically just gives us a little more time. Sometimes what we've noticed is we not necessarily struggle for topics by any means, but we're rushed to either find something or we just don't have enough to fill out an episode because of time constraints, things like that. We just don't have as much time to prepare. So the plan is to cut that back to every other week. Again, still on Wednesday, we're going to keep that the same. Uh, but that way, we've got a little more time to kind of prepare ourselves, get make sure that we're giving you valuable information and not just kind of spouting off stuff. Uh, and then also just a little more time for planning in general. So very excited about that change, honestly. Uh, I think that's going to be better and give a quality podcast. Yes, it does mean we're going to have less podcast episodes, but I'd rather give a quality podcast than one that happens all the time. And so I think that's for the best. Uh, Cracker packs are going to stay the same. Uh, I don't believe we're changing those at all. So Monday and Tuesday, and then also on Friday, we are going to continue the Cracker packs. Uh, those seem to be pretty well received, uh, and they're easily bingeable for you guys. You can just sit in the playlist, and there's like 
almost 240 of them at this point. So you can literally just sit there and binge them if you want, or if you have a set that you're really interested in, chances are we've opened it on that series. Uh, and so that gives a really good outlet for it. Uh, so I think we're going to keep those. They're not too much to record either. They're pretty easy. Uh, and so it's actually really fun to do those. Um, weekly ramble, as I already talked about, this is the last one. We're not going to do weekly ramble anymore. That does mean that we're going to still do like this style of video, but just when there's big updates, things like the WPN uh, network change, we're probably going to keep things like that in this style of video. They just won't be scheduled. So if there's something new that comes out, the plan is to actually put a video up on it, but then also do like an Instagram live video. I think Will is going to kind of take over that and do a lot of the, the, the grunt work uh, to make sure that we get some stuff up there as well. Uh, Instagram obviously is going to stay the same. Uh, I'm only saying that because I brought Instagram up, but nothing changes there. Um, yes, so for new content, uh, so not necessarily new, but ever, on the off weeks that we're not doing the podcast, we still wanted to bring something to you guys. The plan as of right now is to start doing some like gameplay live streams. We've had a number of people mention to us that they really like our podcast, they just don't ever see us play Magic, which is honestly true. We don't get to play Magic very often, only because we're making videos and we also have full-time jobs, both of us, and then Will obviously has his new baby. Uh, taking care of her is obviously a full-time job in itself. Uh, but we're gonna do the best we can to actually get live streams up on every other week uh, that we're not doing the podcast. So really excited about that. That's gonna bring a whole new dynamic to the uh, channel that we're really excited about. Uh, we do have some production ideas for it as well that we're gonna implement, so very, very excited. Whole new kind of content there. We're also going to revisit deck techs a little bit. Uh, the plan as of right now is to backstock deck techs a, like a few weeks in advance. We're going to kind of plan them ahead and then do one a week on every Thursday. So in place of the weekly ramble, we're hoping to do deck techs. I don't know if that's going to pan out just because they're a little bit more intense to actually edit and put together, script, record, all that stuff. So we'll see. Um, I'm not, I, I hope to get one out every single week. We are going to focus a little bit on standard, maybe some commander and then modern most likely. Probably won't delve too much into Legacy and Vintage just because they're really not as widespread a format as uh, as much as I'd like them to be. So uh, unfortunately, we're probably going to avoid those unless there's just a really awesome deck that somebody wants us to use. So uh, we're going to do our best to get those deck techs up every single week as well. Uh, very, very excited about those. Those seem to do pretty well. Uh, and so we wanted to bring those back and give you guys some quality content that you're actually enjoying. Uh, the reason for all of these changes just so everybody knows, is that uh, certain th things that we do are really well received and certain things are not as well received. And while we want to create content that we really enjoy making, and that's kind of the forefront of our thing, we also want to make sure that the people watching, you guys, actually enjoy the content. Otherwise, there's no point, right? So uh, that's kind of the goal. We're, we're just trying to balance that. Uh, and so this seems to be the best way to do that. All of these changes are going to be implemented ideally by April 1st. That is our current goal. Uh, we're actually working on a list of just actionable items right now that we're actually going to put into place and hopefully get the ball rolling on a lot of this stuff. Uh, this was a very recent change as of the recording of this video. We figured this stuff out like yesterday, uh, maybe the day before, um, but we are very, very strongly behind this new schedule. We think that it's going to work very, very well, uh, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So I will go ahead and say the biggest thing that you guys can do if you enjoy our channel uh, on any level is leave feedback, leave a like. Even just one like makes a huge difference. Uh, leaving a comment saying what we what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video. Uh, if you feel like we should have done this instead of this, or if you feel like we missed a point. All of those things are very, very welcome to us. We would love that feedback. And so please, please, we've got a few people already that almost every video we post, which we're very thankful for, they throw out a comment to us, just say thanks for the video, or love this one, or disagree with that pick on the Kraken Packs, or something like that. It's totally fine. We welcome that kind of content and that kind of feedback. So please, by all means, uh, leave that feedback for us so that way we can better our channel and better ourselves for you guys and hopefully, hopefully uh, create a more informative and more fun channel. Uh, so that's all the goals that we've got going on. That's the big change uh, that we've got going on. Hopefully uh, these big changes will uh, yield a little bit more of a 
a welcoming environment and a fun environment for you guys, as well as informative and hopefully make both you and us better players. So that's kind of the goal. Uh, but with that, I can't say I will see you guys in the next weekly ramble video because this is the last one, but I am very, very happy that you guys are around. Hopefully I will see you in some video very, very shortly. Please stick around for anything else and make sure to subscribe to our channel if you really enjoyed this video. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video.